C could this be? My name is Tsuyoshi Nakajima. I'm just a run-of-the-mill second-year high school student. I have no friends and just pass the time in class reading books. But I've persevered for 16 years. Has my time for love finally come? One day, I opened my shoe locker as usual and found something that didn't belong. A love letter?! At a glance, it looked like a love letter. But when I saw whose name was written on the envelope, I calmed back down. Oh, just a prank. Good morning, Madam Kuroshiki. Kuroshiki-san, shall I hold your bag? Good morning. And no, you don't have to. Her name is Yuzuka Kuroshiki. She's the daughter of the Kuroshiki Group's chairman. She has excellent grades and has an attractive face and figure. She's your typical princess type that looks like she came right out of a manga. Basically, every day when she comes to school, she's showered in the boy's attention, and I've seen her get asked out at least once a week. A girl like that would send me a letter when hell freezes over. The letter said meet me behind the school building when classes are over, but there's no way I would go along with a blatant prank, so I threw the letter in the trash and didn't go to the meetup spot. <sighs> Just when I thought my first love had started, it ended up being a prank. I'd forgotten all about the love letter. The next day, when I went to school as usual, I saw Kuroshiki in an imposing stance by my seat. Nakajima, could I see you after school? Huh? Why? I'll tell you later, just to make sure you come. I didn't understand what was going on, but I went ahead and met up with Kuroshiki behind the school. I see you come, Susuyoshi Nakajima. Yeah, I came like you asked. What's up? Are you serious right now? You saw the letter in your shoe locker. I waited for you. Why didn't you show up? Huh? Wasn't that just a prank? Why would it be? It was a regular letter asking to meet up. No way. No one would think that you would be asking to meet up. Plus, I didn't think a girl sent this to me with this sloppy handwriting. Summer is in full swing after the small heat wave. I hope you're doing well despite the heat. I would be delighted if you could meet me behind the school building after school today. I'll be looking forward to seeing you! Yuzuka Kuroshiki It was sloppy and too polite. I thought it was a prank 100%. What? Even though I took hours thinking of what to write! Did you say something? No, it's nothing. Yesterday may have been a fail, but you've come today. I'll get straight to the point. Go out with me. S Seriously? Aren't you happy I asked you out? What's with this high-handed attitude? I get the feeling you're confident that you'd never be rejected. Sorry, I won't date you. Huh? Why? I thought... I told you I'd let you date me. You don't have a girlfriend, right? I don't. But dating you? Well, I'll be going now. Hey, hold it! What's with him? I'll never forgive him for turning me down! A week had passed since Kurashiki asked me out. Now she started to follow me! Mama, what's that girl doing? Shh, don't look at her. What's she doing? Hey, Kurashiki! What the hell are you doing? Who are you talking about? I'm Kurajima. If you're going to try and trick me, at least choose a different sounding name. I want you to stop following me around at school, too. Although, I guess it's better than following me outside. Hmm. The places I go, you just happen to be there sometimes. My stalker who followed me on the way to school and in school ended up following me all the way through summer break. Ah, <sighs> it's finally summer break. There's no way Kurashiki would stalk me when there's no school, right? I get it. Summer break, but you're lounging around too much. It's fine to take a break every now and then. It's not. If you got nothing to do, go buy some ice cream for me. This is Mina Nakajima. She's my big sister and has worked me to the bone ever since I was little. Because of her, I ended up doing all the chores. Cooking, cleaning, laundry, you name it. Oh, that's right. From today, you'll be going somewhere for a week. Huh? What are you talking about? Come on, you know I'm a member of the cosplay club at my college, right? The other members will be making costumes here. So what does that have to do with kicking me out of the house? 
They'll be staying here for a week, putting their all into making costumes. They can just make costumes in your room! I barely come out of my room anyway, so I won't be that much of a hindrance. No way! We'll be using sewing machines, so we need space. We'll use your room for luggage and a spot to put trash, so you'll just be in the way. You're acting a bit too cold. Whatever. Just hurry up and get out. Everyone will be here in two hours, so hurry up and get prepared to leave. I thought it was a joke at first, but I really got kicked out. Hey, hey! What am I supposed to do in this situation? I don't have any friends! One week of this is impossible! I started walking with no real direction. Then some familiar brown locks came into my view. What a coincidence! What are you talking about? Someone like you wouldn't be walking around here by yourself. Well, don't worry about the little details. They aren't little! This is definitely just your usual stalking! Whatever, it's fine. More importantly, what are you doing with all that stuff? Ah, uh, well, actually, my sister kicked me out of the house. That's rough. Shall I help you? Nope! If I ask for your help, I have a scary feeling something will happen afterwards. So I'm good. There's nothing more costly than something free, as they say. Oh, those are some good words, you know. But in this case, let me help you. We should help each other when in need. Kurashiki took out her phone and made a call to someone. Yes, the conversation went as planned, so come quickly. Don't skip our preparations to the house either. That'll be fine. Thank you for waiting, miss. Thanks for the lift. What's with this excessively long car? You got a problem? The longer the car is, the more intimidating, right? Hurry up and get in. I ended up riding in the car together with Kurashiki. Um, where the heck are you taking me? Isn't it obvious? Oh, we'll be there soon. Hey, wait. Could it be this is... This will be your house for the week. No, no, no! Hold up! What? It's not that surprising. My nerves are crazy enough to not be surprised at this! Welcome home, miss. The preparations are ready, so both of you please relax. Okay, thanks. No! This is strange! How come all these preparations are done when you just made that phone call a while ago? Don't underestimate the Kurashiki family. While not understanding anything, I was led to a room by one of the servants. If you need anything, don't hesitate to ask. Yeah, thanks. This room is amazing. It's about five times bigger than my room. Oh yeah, what should I do for food? My options are getting something easy to fix at the convenience store, or getting ingredients at the supermarket and borrowing Kurashiki's kitchen. A few hours had passed, and I got a sudden knock on the door. Nakajima, food's ready. Huh? I was thinking of picking something up at the convenience store. Is it okay to eat here? Isn't it obvious? You are a guest after all. Uh, oh, thanks. Anyways, how's the room? It's so luxurious, it had me nervous. What's with that? You'll be a week, so hurry up and get used to it. Yeah, I'll do my best. But more importantly, is it really okay for me to stay a week? Do I need to pay? I don't need your money. We have so many rooms practically going to waste. Well, let's eat. Wow! Looks super delicious! Thanks for the food! Please, dig in. It was really good! It was all my favorite things! Do you have a chef? I need to thank them! It's not worth it. Why? They made such a delicious meal, I have to at least thank them! Cooking is a pretty tough job! Not really. What I've heard now is more than enough. Wait, you're telling me the chef is... Me? Seriously? You're really good at cooking! But I didn't imagine you making dishes like meat and potatoes and grilled fish! Well, I suppose. Usually I don't make these dishes. I mainly cook Western-style meals. I made dishes suited to your taste. Everything should be to your liking, since I left out everything you don't like. Eh, <sighs> why do you know all of that? We aren't that close. The Kurashigi Families Information Network has a grasp on the whole nation's likes. How is that helpful? Well, it was helpful now, wasn't it? The Kurashiki family sure is scary. 
<laughs> Don't make any enemy of us. Yeah. Well, that was a joke. I only know about you, Nakajima. Huh? A joke? <sighs> I'm not good at these kind of things, so I'll say it flat out. I like you. So, within the week, I'll make you fall for me. I'll make you like me. Just watch. The food was so delicious, I had already changed my outlook on her. But she went and ruined it just now. I should go stay at a manga cafe. Nope, you're stuck here for the whole week. Uh, er, I mean the chances we have to be able to live together don't come by easy. You can save money, so it's perfect. Hey, I heard some alarming words just now. But just as Kurashiki said, I would need to spend cash. And if I really think about it, I can't stay at a hotel or manga cafe since I'm under 18. Fine, I'll get it. I'll stay here for the week. Uh-huh, that's better. Somehow, I've started my strange cohabitation of confinement. It still remained a mystery on how she knew my favorite foods, but we would chit-chat here and there, making this week of spending time together go probably pretty well. Well... Sometimes Kurashiki would act recklessly. Nakajima, I'm taking the laundry to the cleaners, so give me your dirty clothes. No way! You'll definitely smell them before taking them to the cleaners! What are you saying? Isn't that a given? It's a waste to clean them without smelling them. Hey, don't get all defiant! These days full of commotion continued on, and before I knew it, we had been together for six days. Kurashiki? I'll cook today. Oh, thanks. If that's the case, simmered mackerel and soy sauce sounds good. Oh, you like common dishes too? That's unexpected. Yeah, it's been a while since I've eaten it, so I've been craving it. Plus, you're good at making simmered mackerel, right? Well, sure. Because of my wild sister, and since both my parents work, I cooked from a young age and got pretty good at it. I have the most confidence making simmered mackerel. I never said any of this to anyone at school, though. Yeah, I'm the only one at school that knows. Hey, Kurashiki? I'll be going home tomorrow, so can I ask you something? What is it? To be honest, I'm really happy that you said you liked me. But I don't get why you are going so far to get me to like you. And while you're at it, I want you to explain why you know so many details about me. <sighs> Okay, I'll tell you, but don't you dare laugh. Yeah, of course. Because you were nice. Huh? I liked you because you were nice. Is that bad? Sorry, I haven't the slightest idea. You may not have known, but you were unexpectedly popular with the girls. During the cooking class, you silently supported the girls who were bad at cooking and took the initiative to help with cleaning, didn't you? Yeah, I suppose. I feel like this is simply just because I'm bad at talking and didn't say anything. You looked way cooler than the superficial guys who just asked me out because of my face. Ah, uh, I see. Thanks. Yeah, but you rejected me. Does that have something to do with this? In my life up until now, I've never been bad at anything. So when you rejected me, I was really shocked. So I got even more invested in you. But the girls you helped in the cooking class kept praising you, so I thought at that rate, you'd be taken by another girl. So I panicked and things escalated and ended up like this. I see. So that's why she stalked me and knew my favorite foods and extreme details about me. I said this a week ago, so you already know, but I have a sister. Since she pushed me so hard from childhood, I'm not good around headstrong and pushy girls. Sorry. That's why I rejected your strong confession. I thought you asked me out so you could push me around. That's... I realized that's wrong after hearing you out. You saw my good points and asked me out, right? Yeah. Thanks. I don't have that much confidence, so I can't accept your confession right away. But can we start out as friends? Yes, I'd be happy to. Thanks. <sighs> Well, I'll get to making the mackerel. Uh, I'll help. Two months had passed. Yuzuka and I hadn't become a couple, but we became more than friends. 
You coming by again today? Yeah, I'll go. Oh, it's you, Tika-chan. Looks like things went well. Yes, thanks to you. Um, what are you talking about? Ah, uh, so actually... So I found out the reason my sister kicked me out of the house was all part of a plan. To have a spy in my own home. No wonder Kurashiki was conveniently outside our house. S sorry Yeah, it's fine now. If it didn't happen, I wouldn't have heard how Kurashiki truly felt. You can call me Cupid. I'm not forgiving you! Why? You definitely kicked me out because you thought it was funny! Well, I suppose you could say that too. Don't blame your sis. She did it for me. You're calling her sis now?! It seems like my troubled life will continue with another pushy woman added to the mix.